Hey, welcome to the Prosperity Alchemist channel. I am David Wong, the Prosperity Alchemist, and I'm going to show you the next step in order to achieve anything that you want in life, to achieve the prosperity that you want, that you've always dreamed of, and how to get it naturally, how to get it without even trying, how to have abundance, how to have health, the relationships that you want, the soulmate that you want, even money, success, popularity if you want. How to get all those things naturally without even trying, without even putting too much effort in. So in this series, we're talking about the prosperity pyramid. So I showed you the diagram and you can see it now on the screen, what the prosperity pyramid is. And at the bottom, you'll see life force. So this is a journey and this is a direction. I've simplified how you can achieve prosperity, how to get money, how to get success, how to get relationships, whatever you want in your life. Basically, how to get those things naturally, how to get it even effortlessly, how to have those things come to you and attract those things. So first, let's start with life force. So if you see our pyramid diagram before, see that life force is the fuel that we need in order to start anything to happen. So just like a chemical reaction, before you have any kind of chemical reaction, you need the right chemicals, you need the right fuel, and you need to have the right mixture of that fuel and you need to be able to ignite that fuel so that you can use it and create energy. So that's what life force is. So if you look at Star Wars, Obi-Wan Kamenobi said that what is the force? The force is an energy field created by all living things. It surrounds us and it penetrates us and it binds the galaxy together. So you're probably thinking, thinking that I'm just some sci-fi guy. Well, there's a lot of truth to that actually from, um, even from Star Wars, because we're discovering that today our body has the energy field and it can be measured. And I'm going to show you in some uh, lessons later, some technology that I'm using right now that will show you exactly how your energy field around your body looks, whether it's stronger, where it's lacking energy, where it has more energy. Um, it's really quite amazing. So, but we'll show that in another lesson. For now, we'll show you um, what you need to do in order to build the life force that you need in order to start this whole process towards prosperity. So Nikola Tesla said that if you want to find the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, of frequency, and vibration. So think of yourself as an energy being. Instead of thinking of yourself as just something physical, think of yourself as something that has, is an energy being. Now, an energy being will have vibration and frequency. So what is this life force? How can you measure it? Well, there's ways that you can measure how much frequency and how much vibration you have. And science has proven that out of your hands, you can generate photonic energy. So you can actually generate photonic light particles from your hand. You can receive and project photonic light particle energy from your fingertips and your hands. And I have a device that actually measures that. So as an energy being, we have energy, frequency, and vibration. And how strong our field is will determine how strong we are able to transmit and receive messages, insights, or even be able to project reality itself. So how strong is your frequency and vibration and energy? So think of yourself as a transmitter. We are all transmitters. Some of us are weak because we have a low life force. But once you be able to increase that life force, raise those vibration, raise that energy, raise the frequency, now you become a very strong transmitter. Imagine being able to transmit into the world and broadcast your intentions and being able to manifest things in your life because of the strength of that field. And that all depends on life force. So you're probably wondering, so how do I gain and how do I build and develop and cultivate this life force? Some people call it chi, some people call it prana, some people call it the force. There's many names for it, but I just want to call it life force 
because everybody understands what that means. So, well, before we learn how to gain life force, let's talk about how to stop life force from leaking or stop life force by being sucked out from you or uh, life force from draining out. Now, there's a lot of things that can do that. For example, your diet, your stress, and other people or environments or uh, negative frequencies and negative vibrations, okay? So your body is a transmitter, but your body is also an instrument that can be tuned. So here's an example of vibration and frequency. So I have two tuning forks. And I, let's say that I ring one of the forks. You can't hear it because it's very low. But if you put them together, because of the vibration of one of the forks, the other one starts to vibrate. So the other, this fork is actually starting to tune to the vibration of this fork. So that's what happens with sound frequency. And that what, that's what happens with your uh, life force frequency too. So ask yourself, what are you exposing yourself to? What kind of frequencies are you exposing yourself to? We can start with what you can hear because that's easy. What kind of music are you listening to? What kind of noise is in your environment? So those things by itself will tune your life force to whatever frequency it is. It's been proven by science, something called brainwave entrainment, that if you play a frequency or listen to a frequency that is correlated to a certain brainwave, then that brainwave that brainwave pattern will increase. So if you want to be relaxed, you want to have theta delta, delta brainwaves in a relaxed state, then you will play a um, frequency in that, in that range so that you will have more of those brainwaves active in your brain. And if you want more focus, you will, bring, you will play a higher frequency in the alpha and beta range in order to improve your focus and to be more alert. So that's brainwave entrainment. That's been proven, that's, that's in science. So think about what you are listening to. And obviously, there are some frequencies that you cannot hear. So frequencies you can hear like music and sounds, those will affect your brain. But there's also frequencies you cannot hear that are outside the hearing range that are not audible. For example, electromagnetic frequencies from cell phones, from Wi-Fi, from satellite, from 5G, um, these frequencies are not good for you. They are not healthy. And there's a lot of controversy over that, but I think we are beginning to see that EMF radiation and re EMF vibration and frequencies is causing a lot of health problems. And causing a lot of not just physical health problems, but mental health problems. We have all these electronics around us these days, and we're always bombarded, always holding on to these transmitters of frequency. So you have to ask, are those frequencies beneficial for you? Are those frequencies making you healthier, increasing your life force? And most of the time, they are draining your life force, actually. They're actually sucking out the life force. So the first step of being able to build life force is first stop draining your life force and stop letting it leak out from your energy field, okay? By stopping the frequencies that are affecting you. Music that you can hear, sounds that you can hear, and electromagnetic frequencies that affect your mind and your body and your energy field. You know, haven't you ever been around somebody that after you, you know, when they leave, you're just so happy that they left? just feel so much better when they're gone. Well, those people are people who suck life energy and you don't wanna be associated with them. They're like black holes. Um, doesn't matter how much energy you put in, it just sucks your, your energy out. So what do you do? Well, I would just avoid those people as much as possible and I would um, try to protect yourself from people like that. There's environments too. Some environments actually there's i have a device that can measure the um, life force in an environment 
So some environments have low life force. And some environments have very good life force. Well, haven't you ever been to a place in nature that you really like? Have you ever been to a place like a beach or a forest or a mountain or a lake that you can feel so alive? They feel so much energy from. You feel so balanced and feel so calm and peaceful. Well, those places, environments actually have a lot of life force and you can measure it. There's tools um, that you can actually quantify those areas. And there's some places that are opposite of that. Some places that will suck the life force out of you and make you drain your life force. So what do you want to do? Well, wherever you're living, there's things you can do to change the energy of where you're living so that you're not being, that energy is not being sucked out of you all the time. Now, the place that you live or the place that you work can have energy that's building you up, that's making you stronger just by being in that environment. So what's next? There's also stress and lifestyle. Now, what are you doing in your life? Um, what do you do for work? How are you managing your day? Uh, do you have a lot of stress? Well, stress is the main problem that can really drain your energy. It can really drain your life force. And what kind of lifestyle do you lead? Do you do drugs? Do you do drink a lot of alcohol? Do you smoke? Do you do a lot of you know, um, stuff like that? And those things are not good for your body and they drain your life force. They actually cause stress and then you know, it's very obvious they cause a lot of disease too. So what kind of lifestyle do you have so ask yourself all those things. We have your music, uh, vibrations. You have the invisible vibrations, like electromagnetic frequencies from cell phones, from Wi-Fi, your food and your diet. We haven't mentioned that. So what are you eating? Are you eating junk food all the time? Are you eating things that are full of GMOs, that have a lot of MSG, uh, that have a lot of chemicals and food additives that are hormones? that um, may, not, may or may not be on the labels. So you have to ask, what, what, what energy are those things that you're eating? Your food, your meals, your drink. So how's your diet? Are you eating energized food? Are you eating food that gives you life force rather than just sucks out the life force? You may eat a lot of sugar and that gets you high and get your energy up. And sugar is okay, but you eat too much of it then it starts to suck the energy back down. Okay, so you have to ask, what's your diet? So those are a whole series of things that can really train your life force. So before we start thinking about how to build your life force, well, first of all, why don't we just um, stop getting life force sucked out of you by changing some of your habits and being more aware of what environment you're living in. So, if you have any questions about this lesson, then go ahead and comment in the comment section. And um, in the next video, I'll show you some things you can do to build your life force. But like I said, before building it, it's like filling a bathtub with water with a, with a drain open. No matter how much water you put into the bathtub, if you have holes in your bathtub, it's never going to fill up with any water because it's draining. So first, let's plug up those holes that are draining your life force. And once you do that, then we can start adding water into your bathtub. So in the next lessons, we're gonna show you how to do that. And then so, show you some technologies that you can use to actually enhance your life force um, naturally because nowadays, there's so many technologies that actually suck our life force. We have our phones, cell phone, Wi-Fi, like I said, bad food, a lot of technologies that are um, basically just draining the life force of everybody in the planet. So now it wouldn't be a good idea to use the technology, similar technology, but just tune it and tweak it so that it actually enhances your life force. And how do you do that? So we're going to reveal some of those things in my upcoming webinar. If you uh, join up to the webinar, it's a free webinar, and we're going to show you some of the technologies I've discovered that you can use and anyone can use it that can build up your life force. Um, it's basically the lazy way of doing it because it's using technology. But I'm going to show you some uh, meditation, some Qigong techniques.
that will really enhance your life force and cultivate and grow that life force so that becomes very strong and you become a very strong transmitter of energy and of intentions and be able to manifest the prosperity and success that you want and the health that you want in your life. So we'll see you soon in the next lesson. Like I said, comment on this video, subscribe to this channel for more lessons like this and click the notification bell so you can watch the lesson, be the first to watch, watch the lesson so you don't miss anything. And um, make sure you uh, share with your friends too. So this is a Prosperity Alchemist channel. I'm David Wong, and we'll see you soon.